Hershey Park Explained, Part 1 Hershey Park is a large theme park themed almost entirely around the different types of Hershey's chocolates. The park is situated in Pennsylvania, USA and is owned and run by Hershey Entertainment and Resorts Company. This company was founded in 1927 to separate the chocolate manufacturing business from all other forms of trade. As a result of the park's long existence, it is now home to over 70 different attractions, including 13 roller coasters and 14 water rides. Hershey Park first opened its doors on the 30th of May 1906 under the two-name word of Hershey Park. At this point in time, the attraction was simply a park. Various events were held at the park, including baseball games and live music. Two years after its debut, Hershey Park gained its first amusement ride, a carousel. From then on, the park continued its expansion, gaining more attractions each year. In 1923, to celebrate the town of Hershey's 20th anniversary, Milton Hershey, the owner of the Hershey brand, ordered Philadelphia Toboggan Company, PTC, to construct a wooden roller coaster. The ride was initially named Joyride, but gained the title Wildcat several years later. A large number of attractions were installed throughout the years, including a ferris wheel, dark ride, and an arcade. After the brief closure of the park due to World War II, Hershey Park constructed its second wooden roller coaster to replace the deteriorating Wildcat. Again from PTC, the ride was named Comet and opened in 1946. The following years saw Hershey Park decline in popularity. By 1970, litter and vandalism had struck, leading to the reorganisation of the park itself. As a result, in 1971, Hershey Park adapted its name to the single word Hershey Park. With the redevelopment saw the construction of a fence surrounding the park, as well as the introduction of a general admission fee. Two years later saw the construction of Hershey's Chocolate World outside of the park. This visitor attraction allows guests to experience various Hershey-related shops, as well as a dark ride tour. The dark ride system was constructed by Arrow Development and allows riders to learn about the chocolate production process. Hershey's Chocolate World has free entry and is located only a short walk away from the main entrance to Hershey Park. The park itself continued to expand and develop after its reorganisation. 1974 saw the debut of Trailblazer, an aerodynamics mine train, while 1975 saw the construction of Kissing Tower, the park's 330-foot-high observation tower. The final large-scale addition to the park, as a result of the redevelopment project, was Super Duper Looper, a Schwarzkopf sit-down coaster. The ride opened in 1977 and at the time featured the only vertical loop on the east coast of the United States. Ten years later, after Little Park investment, Hershey Park opened a new themed area, Pioneer Frontier. This was the first major expansion after many years, kick-starting a period of rapid growth. Throughout the 1990s, a total of four new roller coasters opened at the park. 1991 saw the addition of Sidewinder, a Vacoma boomerang coaster, while five years later resulted in the debut of Wildcat, a large-scale wooden roller coaster constructed by Great Coasters International, GCI. Wildcat was in fact the first roller coaster to be constructed by GCI and originally featured PTC trains. It has since been updated to the Millennium Flyer trains, however, the ride itself has become more rough throughout the past years. In 1998, Great Bear, the park's most expensive single ride at the time of its construction, opened to guests. Great Bear is a B&M inverted coaster and unlike many, features a helix before the first drop. The final roller coaster of the 90s was Wild Mouse. It opened in 1999 and is the well-known Mack Ride's Wild Mouse model. Hershey Park continued with the spree of investments by installing Lightning Racer, a twin wooden roller coaster constructed by GCI in 2000. Riders can choose to ride either Thunder or Lightning. The two trains will then race through the layout, leading to points of great interaction between guests. Two years later, the park debuted Roller Soaker, an interesting steel suspended coaster in which the trains carried water. As riders navigated the layout, they could release large amounts of water onto the guests waiting below. Various water cannons were also found on the ground, allowing guests in the area to spray riders. Unfortunately, Roller Soaker was removed in 2012 and replaced with a water splash pad for the following season. Eight years prior to this, 
Stormrunner opened to the public. At the time of its debut in 2004, Stormrunner was the park's tallest roller coaster, measuring 180 feet high. The ride is a steel accelerator coaster, constructed by Intamin. As a result, riders are launched to the fast top speed of 75 miles per hour into a large top hat. As they continue to navigate the layout, they enter several unique elements, such as a cobra loop and a flying snake dive. 